G'day adventurers. This is an important video for those who own a modern aluminium boat like this one, especially those who like to go prawning and crabbing. And I'll tell you why after this. I always thought an aluminium boat didn't need much care, but that's not the case. It doesn't like other metals and dirt and debris can also react. And if you're like me, sometimes you pick up a lot of the bottom in your prawning net and it gets into the boat. So you've got to clean it out. If you don't clean out your boat, especially after a dirty prawning net session, this could happen to you. Come down, have a look under the boat with me. Here's one of two holes I've found in the hull. That's why I was taking on water all the time. I thought it was the bung holes, but it's not. This is possibly another one that is starting to corrode through and will turn into a hole soon. So let's go up the top side and I'll show you what's happening inside. All right, so the uh, boat builders have told me that this is the problem. All this junk in the back under the floor. All this is holding salt and other contaminants, which is causing the corrosion. Now this is... There's the other side of that hole. So, we've got corrosion happening from inside the hole. And, if you look around... There are... Plenty of these white spots that look like they are corrosion beginning to happen. Alrighty, this boat's just come back from an extensive clean, acid wash, and the holes have been welded up. She's ready to float again. Now, I don't want this to be a regular occurrence, fixing up holes, and I don't want this to happen to you. So, I'm gonna change my cleaning regime, especially during prawn season. Firstly, after each prawning session, I'm going to tilt the boat up as much as I can and then get the hose and flush down the front sections through the sides and get a lot of water flowing through the boat. Hopefully it'll push all the debris down to the centre and towards the back. That should be, well, that should be enough for standard prawning season. Now, importantly, after prawning season's finished, I'm going to lift the centre board out lift out the middle row of the sound deadening and give a thorough clean with some of that Chemtech CT18 super wash. Really give it a flush out and get that junk out down to the back and flush it out the bung holes. After you've done the super wash and you can see some uh, corrosion occurring, you can hit it with some acid wash, some of that all bright gear and wash away the corrosion dust. And then hopefully this cleaning regime will stop that from occurring from now on. And that's it. At the end of each prawning session, give your hull a good washout, and then at the end of the season, take up some floorboards and, and then give it a good washout with that super wash gear. That should stop the corrosion occurring like what happened to my boat. I don't want that happening to you. Give it a good clean. Okay, thanks for watching. I hope this video helps you out, stops you getting corrosion in your boat like what's happened to mine. Please hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, really helped me build this channel. Thanks for that. See you on the next video.